let's see the third uh, section that is uh, mobile device types. Uh, so first question maybe arise in mind like what is a mobile device? Uh, you can say a mobile device is a general term uh, for any type of handheld computer. Uh, these devices are designed to be extremely portable and they can often fit in your hand. Some mobile devices like tablets or you can say e-readers and smartphones are more powerful enough to do many of these same things you can do with an extra or laptop computer. Uh, now is a laptop uh, mobile device like tablet and smartphone? Ah, yeah, you can say a laptop was a mobile version of uh, your heavy, chunky desktop that's right on your office desk. Laptops are still the portable computing devices uh, because they are designed to do everything a desktop PC can do, just from uh, different locations. The smallest and most uh, portable laptop, the smallest and most portable laptops weighing only about 2.5 pounds and uh, have screen sizes of 13 inches or smaller than that also you can find in the market. While laptops have the most uh, computing uh, power of the mobile devices and they are travel friendly and uh, they are the least uh, portable of the mobile device options. Many people are starting to replace or supplement using regular laptops with smaller or more mobile devices. If you are in the market for something even smaller, so there are several uh, ultra portable laptops on the market and uh, you can find netbooks the other option in the market for uh, smaller size of the uh, laptops and maybe uh, you can say the uh, net, uh, netbooks have a more uh, compact form factor with 10 inch screen sizes or smaller than that also you can find and the weight of only 2 pounds or less than that you can Netbooks are inexpensive, uh, usually have long battery life and do the most of the common tasks, those that are the least uh, processor and uh, that most of us use our computer for uh, the same thing, like you can say the surfing, uh, the web checking and uh, checking emails and uh, using office uh, productivity program. They trade these benefits, however, for less uh, robust uh, performance. So you, you can you can say using uh, your netbooks uh, for for uh, work is possible depending on your task, the business task you uh, having. So uh, on the other hand, the smartphones have made uh, the smartphones. Uh, you can say what improved with each new smartphone was the user's capability to do remarkable things with, with the device. Um, they didn't uh, just have the option to browse the website, but they can do in reality buying things online with a tap on the screen. And uh, which meant they, they could accomplish any task virtually, uh, which wasn't uh, possible a decade uh, prior. So you can, you can say a smart, smart Smartphones have made uh, the impossible task possible. So you can say a smartphone uh, is a mobile device built on uh, an operating system with more advanced computing capability and connectivity than a feature phone. When a smartphone first uh, became available, they combined the function of uh, PDA. PDA means you can say personal uh, digital assistance uh, with a mobile phone. A smartphone is more uh, powerful version of a traditional cell phone in addition to the uh, same basic features of phone calls and voicemail, uh, text messaging. Smartphones can connect to the internet or Wi-Fi or even a cellular network. Um, this means you, you can use a smartphone for the same things you would normally do on a computer such as like browsing uh, the web or uh, checking your emails or uh, shopping online. So these all things you can uh, now are capable of doing these all tasks using the smartphones. As the phones evolved, other features such as cameras, GPS navigations, and multimedia players 
made these devices even more powerful. And uh, today's smartphones have high resolution touch screens and web browsers that have the ability to display websites and post click landing pages using the Wi Fi internet or a mobile broadband connections. Most uh, smartphones use a touch sensitive screen, meaning uh, there isn't a physical keyboard on the device. Instead, uh, you will uh, uh, you will type on the virtual keyboard using your fingers to interact with the display. Other uh, standard features include a high quality digital camera and the ability to play digital music and video files. For many people, a smartphone can actually replace electronics like an old laptop or the digital music player and the digital camera in the same device. Smartphone browsers uh, you can say are similar to the desktop browsers and they can render a board in the set of the HTML5 specifications. Even though our mobile phones have a smaller screen and the screen size is set to vertical by default. Plus the operating systems of smartphones make it easy for users to download the mobile apps that enhance the phone functionality. So you can uh, download uh, the apps from uh, different marketplaces like uh, for iPhone we have App Store and from uh, Android or OS we have the Play Store for downloading different apps. And uh, regarding the popularity, smartphones are the most widely used mobile device with 80 percent of internet uh, users. Uh, now the second section which uh, comes in uh, is you can say the multimedia phone. What is multimedia phones? Multimedia phones offer more functionality than a featured phone, uh, but not much as a smartphone. So it's lesser than the smartphone and it's more advanced than the uh, featured phone. So multimedia phones typically uh, come, uh, come with the, you can say the basic features such as uh, with the high resolution camera is present, high quality sound and a few uh, native uh, applications uh, such as the MMS the multimedia messaging uh, services are available in these phones. Uh, so the multimedia phones uh, having browsers with the capability to render the web pages, uh, web page uh, coded to meet the X HTML standard. And they support HTML5 uh, markup and uh, JavaScript also. And however, they may not support some. Uh, extension of the API in HTML5 standards. Multimedia uh, phone browsers are similar to the browsers of 3G uh, ready phones that are not uh, quite uh, you can say smartphones. Let's see now the feature phones. Feature phones last uh, and, uh, the feature phones uh, provide standard uh, text messaging and voice call calling features along with basic multimedia and internet capabilities. While some even have touch screens and switch capability. However, their browsers lack the capability to render the pages coded using the standard HTML. So instead of uh, that, they have the browsers that can render only C HTML, that is the I mode and WML or X HTML uh, MP. So these, these types of uh, capabilities they can render on the browser. Feature. We have in market ebooks also. So, ebook readers, uh, also called uh, e readers, are similar to the tablet uh, computer, except uh, they are mainly designed for reading the ebooks. There's no digital uh, or download, uh, down, downloadable books. So, you can, you can read on this uh, e readers. So, uh, so, examples like the uh, Amazon uh, Kindle we have and the Noble. Uh, and you can say Kobo is, uh, is available in the market. So these uh, e-readers uses uh, an e-ink display, uh, so which is easier to read than a traditional computer display. So that's a difference uh, uh, which you can mostly see on the e-readers. So you can uh, read uh, in bright sunlight also. So in, uh, in sunlight you can travel, so you can read in that. And just uh, like if you uh, were reading a regular book like that, you can feel how to do so. Let's see about uh, tablets. Now, uh, tablets are first. 
uh, or come into the uh, market on uh, 1990s and uh, this type of mobile devices has a larger screen than a phone so greater than phone smaller than the laptops and the computer uh, screens so the tablet uh, screen is its uh, family input device and they usually run on android or apple ios software which means you can easily download the mobile apps on the tablet also so the mobile apps which are the center of the mobile specific so you can download on the tablet also the tablet specific apps are uh, present so you can download on the respective stores so like laptops tablet computers are designed to be portable so however they are uh, provide a different computing experience the, uh, the most obvious uh, difference is that tablet uh, computers don't have keyboards or touch uh, touch pads instead the entire screen is a touch screen allowing you to type on a virtual keyboard and use your fingers as a mouse pointer so tablet computer uh, uh, can't necessarily do everything traditionally, traditionally like a computer can do but for many people a traditional computer like a desktop or laptop is still uh, needed in order to use some programs uh, so you can say the usage uh, uh, perspective a tablet computer may be ideal on the second 